Hello friends, in this video let's see about what are the types of DNA damage and its damage mechanisms. There are two major types of DNA damage, namely endogenous and exogenous, which are classified based on their mechanism and cause. Endogenous refers to the damages that are caused by internal factors like cellular metabolic process. Simply we can say the changes occurring within the cells causes damage to the DNA. Whereas, on the other hand, if we take exogenous, it refers to the damages that are caused to ex due to external factors like environmental factors. This may sound little con confusing, but we can remember with a simple trick. The word endogenous can be com compared to endo, that is N in. So, in endogenous type, the changes inside the cell causes DNA damage. Whereas in exo, the changes outside the cell causes DNA damage. Now let's see what are the major damage processes occurring in endogenous and exogenous in endogenous type. The first major type is mismatch of DNA bases. We all know that A always pairs with T and T G always pairs with C. But there, sometimes there may be mismatch in this pairing causing DNA damage. Other chemical reactions like hydrolysis, oxidation, alkylation and production of free radicals can also cause damage to the DNA. Whereas in exogenous type, external factors like ultraviolet rays, infrared rays and chemicals like mutagens causes damage to the DNA. Let's discuss in details. In general, DNA damages can be of four important types which includes single base alteration, double base alteration, chain breaks and cross linkage. From this picture, we can easily understand each type of DNA damage. First is single strand break, where one strand of DNA backbone is cut or cleaved. Next, we can see mismatch where wrong bases get spared or damaged or homologous base pair gets spared. Like single strand break, even both the strands of the DNA can break causing double strand break damage. Next major type of damage is cross linkage in which base pairs can get cross linked. It may be of two forms namely intrastrand linkage or interstrand linkage. From the image we can see in case of intrastrand linkage two adjacent bases of the same DNA strand can link and form a loop like structure. Whereas in case of interstrand cross linkage bases of two different DNA strand gets linked. Now let's look deep into the first type of DNA damage that is single base alteration. We all know that in DNA A pairs with T and G pairs with C. But sometimes due to some endogenous or exogenous factors this base pairing may alter which causes T to pair with G or C or vice versa. There are many reasons for this alterations including deamination, depurination, deletion and insertion and alkylating agents. In deamination, the amine group from the nitrogenous base gets removed which causes the base to transform into another base causing base alteration. Next major causes depurination. Adenine and guanine are the two purines. In this process, the bond between A or G base with the sugar backbone gets disturbed causing the purine to get removed from its site which results in a purinated site. Next cause is deletion in which any one base gets deleted whereas in insertion the base pair gets inserted in wrong site. Alkylating agents can also cause abnormal base pairing leading to the DNA damage. Base alteration, double base alteration is also identified. Common type of double base alteration is TT dimer formation. It is nothing but time and time in dimer formation. If two T's are present adjacent to each other in the same strand, sometimes due to external factors like UV light or alkylating agents, these adjacent thymines get bonded and causes a kink formation as shown in the image. This causes DNA damage. Next type of DNA damage is cross linkage. In this type, instead of pairing with complementary base in the same position, unorganized DNA base pairing occurs. That is, like base in the first position pairs with another base in the fourth position. This may be intralinkage that is within the same strand or interlinkage which is between two different strands. 
One interesting fact is that cross-linkage can also take place between the protein and DNA also. The next major type of DNA damage is chain break, which takes place in DNA strands backbone. It can be single strand break or double strand break. Ionizing radiations like X-rays, gamma rays or radioactive disintegration and even oxidative damage due to the free radical production in the cells can cause chain breakage in DNA. It is the most dangerous type of DNA damage because we can uh, see that as the DNA strands are completely broken, it is very difficult to repair the DNA damage. Thank you.